There we go. Why am I a magic lantern? Shoot. I don't want to do that. Why am I a magic lantern? <laughs> hey, everybody. Shoot. Yeah, we're getting started here. Uh, <laughs> hey, everybody. What's going on? We are about to get started. I'm trying to find my Jenkins page. Got my magic lantern. Where did Jenkins go? Oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, so if you haven't set up yet, uh, this, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. I'm trying to find my camera, so give me one second here. My thing got out of order. I don't know why. Game capture's gone. Done. Video capture. Here we go. There we go. Sweet. My pretty mug. All right. Shoot. It's been a day of technical glitches. Hey, Ron Hawks. How's it going? Hey, uh, so thank you so much for joining. Um, just running through, like I say, I saw that configurator 10.5 uh, had a new version that was out. So I'm going to run through it. And um, it's Betaflight 4.0 RC1 on an F4 board. And apparently as well, the F3 boards are going to die after the, um, at the end of Betaflight 4. So yeah, that sucks. But F3 boards have lived a long life and Betaflight 4 is probably the end of where they can do so if you have not set up configurator before, I have several videos on it, but you want to look up ci.betaflight.tech slash job slash betaflight configurator, and you want to use Chrome OS version, and that uh, you just download and essentially create a folder on whatever drive you want, and you just drag all of the contents inside. So. Once you drag them in, you now have a beta flight 10.5. This is a beta version, so be very careful. And once you're in there, you would go to Chrome, Chrome Apps, Chrome Apps. If you do not have the beta flight version, hold on one second here. Chrome X. Extensions. It's Chrome extensions, Chrome colon extensions, and you want to do load unpacked and navigate to your folder and you just select folder and it will immediately pop up as a version. So that's how you install a Betaflight Configurator beta version. Then you just open it in Chrome. Some new changes on this. So if you haven't seen this before, um, Betaflight Configurator 10.5 has some really great improvements in that I just plugged in my quad it auto auto connected, which is good. You want to enable expert mode because I always want to do that. I always check my ports, so I'm UART one is serial. I would normally do a CLI dump, but every version of four is so different for me that uh, I end up not being able to do that. So I just always mark down what I want is important, which is serial RX UART one, TBS smart audio on UART two. Just take note of that before you flash and do anything. Uh, that way you won't have any problems with your receiver. Um, 
I don't think I have anything else special in configuration. It's straight, I have reverse props, and I'm at 19% CPU load at 8K, 4K. So I did not want to do 8K, 8K. And soft serial and telemetry are on. That's interesting. Okay. So for 10.5 configurator, uh, this is a Maytag F411. And if you don't know what version you're on, go to CLI. I believe it's version. Yeah. Type in version. And you will get Maytag F411. That tells me which board I'm on. Now, the easy part for configurator 10.5, just hit the update firmware. It takes you over to the screen. Oh. Once it disconnects you, it takes you over to the screen. And you want to make sure enable expert mode is on. And I do release and release candidates. Maytag F411. And right here is RC1. And load firmware. Has a ton of new stuff on it. I've been trying the Betaflight 4 beta versions and I loved all of them. So when I saw RC1, I'm like, ooh, this sounds nice. It does have cascaded dynamic notch. I don't even know what this is or that. Um, let me find my beta flight for GitHub. One second here. So once you pick it, you just flash it. It will switch over to DFU mode for you automatically, so you don't have to do any of the loading or anything. While that's going on, this is the releases page. So it has all of the changes, functionality, uh, not in... Oh, that's cool. They added the crash flip arrow for whenever you can't even load. Uh, if you don't use uh, set small angle at 180, so you can arm at any angle, that's changed. Um, bud flixes, this is where they talk about F3s are going away, which is sad, but that's okay. F3s fly great, by the way, so yeah, much like when F1s are still flying on 317, I think. This is something I'm interested in. I've heard good and bad things about it. I don't think I'll be setting it up today. It's real-time ESC RPM feedback, so you can set your notch filters on motor RPM. Not something I'm really wanting to do today because I have to update, uh, what do you call it? You have to update um, your ESCs, that firmware, be all helly sweet, and I'm not really wanting to go through all that. At least not right now. I just want to make sure this thing works. So we are flashed already. Going to connect. Sweet. In expert mode. Make sure my orientation's right. I always make sure orientation's correct before doing anything to make sure uh, whenever I go outside to arm, if my flight controller is screwed up, it will blast in the air. Not so much fun, or it broke props the last time, so that was not fun. Um, ports tab, we have TBS Smart Audio. Do I, ever receive? I do, sweet. All right, save and reboot. If you have any questions or if you want to see something while it's going on, please let me know in chat. Um, I do know the reboot sequence in configurator 10.5 it doesn't always log you back in so you have to dis disconnect and reconnect automatically configuration my props are reversed i want d shot 600 the new idle value is 5.5 instead of 4.5 so if you haven't updated in a while uh, that's to keep from having desyncs for most people 8K, 4K, I do not have a barometer. This is an accelerometer, I want to keep that. Arming, this is the where the uh, that crash flip from earlier, the changing crash flip. If you set this to 180, when your accelerometer is on, it will always, uh, you'll be able to arm at any angle and you don't have to worry about uh, being stuck in a tree, unable to arm or something so you can shake yourself loose. But if you don't have that, 
then your crash flip arrow can help you find which uh which way to go to get to a level source so that's cool telemetry osd esc sensor dynamic all of these are good i don't have a beeper but usb works now so if you do have a beeper and you hate it when it's beeping on the on your when you're plugged into usb that actually works for now uh save and reboot rebooting yep so reboot is not working as well but it does save your changes so that's good yes it I'm actually setting up, a, um, it's a Tiro 79, so I believe it's very, very similar. And yeah, um, the thing with setting up a quad that you've already got, like I say, my biggest problem is always making sure my receivers work, so I always screenshot this. Uh, it's actually one reason why I do these videos, so if I have to, if I get lost and something doesn't work, I can go back to what it was before, I'll have a screenshot of it. Um, so I normally run through each tab before I flash, but I've been flashing this thing like every third day or some junk. I will tell you, this is a unique one, this gyro alignment. It already orients based on the board, I think. So this is actually how you install it, and this is how the gyro is installed on the board. I don't think you were able to see this before. So you can, you may have been able to see it in 10.4, I don't remember. But it, it kind of surprised me when it popped up. So yeah, power battery. Um, since this is a smaller one, I like to go, actually I do like 3.3. I like to go 3.4 for my warning cell. Um, just so it doesn't flash all the time and yeah okay save fail safe I like to go a little bit longer but I've been having more problems whenever I'm flying out front behind a car so maybe 0.8 is a little long now but that's fine um, yeah and if you have GPS, rescues here. PID tuning. I turn my one on, VBAT, and smart feed. I always turn these on, even though feed forward has gone up a good bit. From It was set at 60 before as default. Now it's at 70. Uh, RC rate. Yeah. Put in my rates. And yes, that's very twitchy. Five, seven, five. If there is something in particular you want to see, though, let me know. Um, save. Okay, now you have rate profiles. So I don't fly this one inside as much, but if I did, I think I will do rate profile two. And leave that on default and put this on scale at 35%. I've been racing indoors lately so this is a cool one that's easy to set. So I have a second rate profile that is for indoors and I can only use 35% power with the full throttle. So that is a lot of fun if you have a warehouse and you want to fly inside or if you're under a carport, which since it's been raining, I've been trying to find alternate places to fly. That is cool. Um, so now I have rate profile one, rate profile two. Will give me a scale and that's great. Filter settings. These have changed. Uh, let's see, dynamic min cutoff and dynamic min cutoff, dynamic filter type and the term low pass which can turn that one off since this is a three inch 200 would be my setting I think 300 by quad by quad 150 to 450 for gyro low pass and D term low pass 
believe that will work well. It's just based on what I've seen before. Um, notice how many notch filters you can turn off now. That's pretty cool. And I'm still at 19 to 20% CPU. So that's great. Let's see here. Let's see if receiver works. Sweet. All right. All right. Receiver. Of course not. I don't have a receiver plugged in. Oh. Take that back. I do. There we go. So receiver works. Uh, let's see. Filtering I want on. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks. Going back to here. Rate profile one. There we go. Hundred. And I did want I term relax RP and smooth for that. Okay, cool. That saved and that saved. All right, cool. Now we're in receiver tab. Filtering, definitely want low threshold. I normally set to 10 and 1990. Um, that way I know. But you can leave those defaults. I don't do RC red dead band. Bi quad, bi quad. This stuff's pretty normal. Astro, how's it going, man? Just running through, this is the, um, what do you call it? Release Candidate 1. And this is new, so let's go with ARM. AUX 1. Not too bad, not too bad. I might have a break in the weather today, so I thought I would flash this and see if I can fly. And I'm seeing add link, so this is fun. Uh, let's see. I want my beeper to come on, which is going to set my angle. Yeah. So if I turn my beeper on, I should go into angle mode. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, add range, horizon. Actually, I don't use angle mode that much. I do use horizon every now and then. So let's do that. Let's go add link. Beeper. And let's add a beeper. Aux 5. There we go. Oh, that's funny. Oh, cool. Good to hear it. Indoors. <laughs> um, did you see, have you have you gotten Configure 10.5? Because now you can add links to make things link together. Except for arming. Arming's by itself. So I can now turn on my beeper and horizon mode at the same time. I thought that was pretty cool. Um... I don't know what I would use it for really though. It's for me it's more fun. Cuz you can't set it to arm to do things. So I really don't know what I would do. Oh well. Except I could do launch control. <laughs> um anyway. Add range. I do like I admit I like turtle mode more than I thought I would. And launch control. Oh, no, let's add range. Thanks, man. I uh, am still trying to get comfortable with it. <laughs> let's put it that way. Um. But I have found that a lot of people don't like to experiment very much, so I can at least do that for other people. Um, so yeah, I do like the linking thing. That's pretty cool. So now I'm horizon mode. I'll annoy everybody with a beeper, but this one doesn't have a beeper, so that works. Let's go to save adjustments. 
I want aux2 to give me my profiles. And this is so I can change OSD profiles. Uh, where's aux2? There we go. Aux2, and then I want aux6. I think it's aux, yeah, aux6. Well, actually, I can do. Did I do four? I did four, so yeah, I'll do aux6 to change my rate. Where did six go? There it is. All right. Save that. Now let me go back to config. No, PidTune. Okay, so I get three rates from spinning my aux six. I actually want middle. So I think I'll set three to be my indoor flyer. So I will set three to be for flying indoors, throttle limit scale, and 40%. I'll go a little bit stronger. All right, now I'm on rate profile one, two, and three using my adjustments tab. Cool. So yeah, aux6, aux6, rate profile, and that gives me three different rates. So if I'm flying indoors, just spinning over to the right, and if I'm flying outdoors, spin it to the left. And that's cool. Or I could do a two button switch, I guess, but all right. Now, motors, nothing, OSD. Let's see what we got on OSD. You actually, um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't fly it in your house, but you will get, uh-oh. Uh Hope everything's working. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't fly it indoors because these are, uh, yeah, they're strong. But if I'm, I'm flying in a warehouse lately, and I actually love that, so um, I found one of the warehouses outside of work, but I can't video in there. So that sucks. But you'll get, um, I get six minutes of time at, I want to say almost 80%. I'll get six minutes. So yeah, you get 10 to 12 if you're flying like an 850 battery. Uh, I'm trying to reload my page. I can't see my preview. So all right. Uh, I don't have RSSI. I don't like main. There we go. Okay, cool. I don't like main horizons. I do like timers. I keep my third profile empty. So if I ever want to fly and just have something pretty, I can now do that. Throttle position. Uh, let's see. Throttle up here. Yeah, I get six. That's, that's almost exactly what I get between five and six. But my... Uh, my 850 is a zop and it's horrible so one of my 850 or it's a 750 750 yeah 750 wait no it's an 850 i'm an idiot it gets um six minutes yeah like five and six minutes but one of them will be hot as heck and the other it, you can barely tell so mm. It's weird. I do not recommend ZOP batteries, and I just learned today URUAV batteries are awful. But GMB is really good. Um, except GMB is the only one that ever sent me a bad one. Ooh, I can see my PID rate profile now. Sweet. Okay. Average cell. Hundred and eight. Jeez. I don't know if I would want to fly with that. Yeah, I was thinking tattoo, and I I I, I want six fifty, I think. 
And Ron, you are absolutely correct. They have so much new stuff on here. Um, they actually added an unknown, which will be future. I don't know what this one's going to be because if you're on ten four, pretty much from motor diagnostics down says unknown. So now we know what they are. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, there's a ton of stuff. I'm just trying to get what I normally get, which is anti-gravity G-force motor flip arrow. I do like flip arrow. I like motor diagnostics because it just looks cool to have four little flippy things. Uh, I, I thought I would like stick overlays, but they don't look very good. So I only keep them on one profile. Um, the, they're little crosshair things. They look weird. Yeah, I want like a 69 gram one. That sounds good. And I still don't know how to set my display name. Fly a minute. There we go. And G. Cool. Almost done. All right. And warnings. I like all the warnings. I don't have speed. I do like batteries. Batteries. Someone's yelling at me on Facebook. What's this? Uh, well, see, that's the thing is, see, it has, um, it has craft name right here as set in configuration tab. Say craft name and configuration, and then it has pilot name, display name as set in configuration tab. Oh, did they do two? Let's see. I'll set it up and see. I've never. I don't normally care which name, but if I fly a few, where's my craft name? There we are. All right, so we have craft name and Joe Pilot. Yeah, so I'd, I think I'd use the stick overlays if they were smaller or if they if they look like actual crosshairs. That mine look like arrows, like ASCII art. So I wasn't quite sure if I like that. Oh, I do want FFT. And this is filtering. So peak FFT. So you know where your peak peaks are in your vibrations. Uh, I believe that's it. All right, we're going to save. Go back to configuration and see if I have a craft name. Craft name. Sully. Now, I do not see pilot name or other names. Okay. All right. We'll do that. Disconnect and connect. Let's go back in. Got my name. Going back to OSD. So it did change my craft name, but it. Eh. I don't know if there's a different setup for that pilot name. Ouch. And yes, GNB is crazy expensive. WCO, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, I would say GNB 653S is great. Uh, my only problem with it is this, and let me get it in here, GNB 650. I love being Southern. This is why I don't like GNB batteries. Like a 650 is $16. <laughs> uh, 12. Oh, now that, now that, um, let me see, race day. Race day. 
You said tattoo. Oh, sorry. I'm getting off base. Hold on one sec. Let me. I'm, I'm going to buy our shop in just a second. Let me let me finish this out. Uh, sorry. I, I get really distracted once we go shopping. So I'm saving that. OSD setups. You do get profiles. So you can see what two and my three is clean. So, yeah. Sorry. Uh, that is actually it. Unless you want to go here. Holy gracious, go see everything. Uh, hold on one second, we'll go shopping. Hold on, because I, I do need some batteries. I only have two 4S's left that this thing can fly. And I'm finally putting together my other 3-inch. Um, holy gracious. By the way, y'all spin recovery is really cool. So if you ever clip a gate, make sure that is on. It defaults to on, thankfully. And if you're high enough, it'll save you from crashing because it'll you'll spin out of control for a sec or half a second, and then you'll end up uh, you'll end up flying normally again. So that that one saves me more than anything. Let's see, got anything else fun in here? Barometer, min check. Uh, I'll have to read through the release notes. I do know you want to set Dine. Uh, dynamic range. If you have a four inch or smaller, I'd say this every time. Four inch or smaller is medium, or I'm sorry, high which this one is. If you have a 5 inch it's medium and 6 inch or larger is low until new settings come out. And hold on one second. That's the only thing I have ever really changed in here. I will do um, what's that called? CDC? Yeah, USB HID CDC equals this will allow you to use your flight controller and receiver as a PC remote. So, all right. Bunch of dead ones. Where did you? Uh, where did you get bad? Oh, yeah. Back in, run through one more time, make sure everything's good. Connect. Uh -oh. Uh, hold on one sec here. Every now and then coming out of CLI doesn't connect you like you should. All right. And like I say, before I do anything, I always check orientation. I always calibrate, so that one's barely off, tiny bit, no big deal. Ports, smart audio, you are at one. Everything looks good. Is there anything you wish to see before I get out of here and go shopping? Is there anything anyone needs to see before I switch out? Oh, cool. And I want to tell you, I did plug this in with the props on, but no battery. <laughs> so no, no batteries. Uh, if you ever want to have fun with someone, flip one prop around and give it to a newbie just to watch it. Absolute control. All right. Cool. Thank you. That actually is all I was wanting to run through today, but I do want to check out some batteries. And hold up, because I need some, so make sure. This is the big new thing I've seen. So angle mix. Adjustments, making sure I got everything. Servos, I never use servos. OSD. 
All right, cool. That concludes it. So we're going to take it for a test flight, see how it goes. And now I'm going to jump over, do some shopping. All right, so you were saying tattoo 650s? I um I love eBay for a lot of random stuff uh, especially electronics that let me do things like this where I have a different type of battery connector from my fly sky since they don't it has a thing so I'll buy electronic stuff on eBay no problem when it comes to batteries um I know Banggood's not that great but I also know that, um, yeah, most of the batteries I get are decent, except for Zop, but I only buy Zop, so whatever. <laughs> uh, dude, you have no idea how much I hate, uh, I, I hate traffic. I think that's why I want to fly so much, so I can just fly over traffic. Like, I freaking hate it. Uh, whew, this isn't bad. I mean, I despise traffic. Uh, 75C. These are the ones that weigh 69 grams. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, this guy, FPV TV, he's pretty funny. I like him. WCO, I gotta tell you, I uh, I just like new stuff. So, a lot of people, um, if I was wanting to just fly consistently and normally, I probably would have stopped at three two. I think that was the last one where I was like, "Ooh, this has everything I need." Um, and I probably would have spent more time PID tuning, but with the filters and the way they do dynamic filtering now, um. Yeah, I don't like PID tuning, so I just end up swapping out. So I, I try new things, like, anytime. I, I got so bad, if you go back to my configurator. Um, Nox. I literally, I grabbed... Oh, it doesn't show. Dang it. Oh, because I'm not in. I... Oh, it doesn't show. Of these, over the last month, I've probably flashed 12. Yeah, if we're on 1504, I've, I, yeah, yeah, since January. From January to now, I've probably flashed like 12 different builds. Um, just looking for new stuff. And honestly, it's like, I, I never flashed one that I thought was worse than the other. But I have noticed some of the flashing, uh, some of the defaults are remarkably different. So I always had to be careful on that. Uh, who wants a Mobula? Oh, it's a stack. What is this? Nope. What I really want. Oh, wait, UK 65. Dang it. I actually want what is XT Zenti about to try? Let me let me check that out then. Um X T Z <laughs> Ha that's funny. I don't know what that is. X, T, Z, and T. Okay. By the way, browser histories are hilarious. X, T, Z. I've never heard of this site. Is it legit? Sweet. Friend of mine just turned 40 and he feels like my life is over. I'm just waiting to die. 
Uh, this isn't good. Try again. What's the website? RC Drawn. Toys and Hobby. I'm trying to get this to work. For some reason, I cannot connect to XT Zenti. Zenite. Huh. Might be by VPN. Hold on one sec. Make sure I'm not doing anything weird. Uh, hold on. I love VPNs and I hate VPNs, so let's turn this off. Uh, this looks interesting. Battery char- battery and charger. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> I really just want 50 feet of silicone cable. Um. Excuse me. Not a horrible price. What am I looking for? I totally blanked. What am I looking for? I'm looking for batteries. 550. That's a 3S. That's not bad. That's not bad. I just paid six something from China. Super deals. Super deals. Hey. Speaking, you shall. Well, that's fun. Uh, what am I looking for? Um, don't need that. I would love a four inch. Corn bulb. Dang, that's a really good price. Wait, is it? Maybe I don't know. Hold on, I'll check that out. Uh, 400 watts. Ooh. See that? I kind of want just to build the smallest freaking thing I can. 85 carbon. Eaglet, that's funny. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Super deals. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Main rotor. I, I could not do helicopters. Data logger. Oh, gotta do my... By the way, if anyone's from Portugal and wants to help me move, let me know. Sooner the better. FPV watches. I don't fly around people as much anymore. Go to super deals. They have a lot of stuff. Holy cow. Like that. I see this. This is like a... Uh, a little bit of an upgrade to Banggood. If they have an affiliate link, I am going. All right, so let me let me check something. I know what I want. I want a 650 for a 4S. Okay, I don't want a 650 4S. I want drone accessories. What we got? Propeller nuts. I 
I wish they had this when I first started. Why is that so cheap? What in the world? <laughs> My cholesterol is not high, surprisingly. Though I, I had a conversation with someone last night about why I kept eating. And I was like, because I wasn't full. Uh, but I can eat way too much. And the five freaking onion rings thing, holy crap, dude, I'm telling you, I was so mad at that place. I, I actually helped put them out of business and get new management. Um, cause they, they were ripping people off completely. Cause it, it was a five onion rings with, were $3.50 on top of a $7 lunch special. And I ended up paying almost 12 bucks for what essentially amounted to a big mac or it wasn't even a big mac size it was more of like a normal mcdonald's hamburger size with a good bun um the bacon was literally thicker than the freaking everything and yeah like it was awful why is this so cheap almost ready to fly a f3 a cadex night vision and fpv monitors like, why is this so cheap? This can't be right. Okay, okay. All right, that's, I was wondering. But yeah, like the burgers were, it tasted great. Now, that's what made me so upset was just how good it tasted. And it was so freaking expensive. It was 12 bucks in Charlotte for lunch. And I was hungry. I had to eat like three more. So yeah, that that's me, an angry guy with ah. I was I was up there, man. Whew. Cause I was hungry. I hate that. Oh, this is cool. A one S flight stack, a complete flight stack. That's funny. All right, I am digging this page. This is going to be on my new shopping. Um. Dang. Yeah, this is really good. Okay. Eleven O two. Yeah, I I can definitely I I have some anger issues. Do they? Uh, let's see, 1050. I don't think I want 1102. Let's go back home. Try this again. 803 with 40. Oh, shoot. Dang. See, now that, I have to say, that is a really good price. And yes, I... I uh, actually, I will show you. Um... Actually, I bought uh, some 2S batteries, these. Uh, these, 419. If you fly a 2S, all you have to do is swap that little white connector for an XT60. These batteries are the just the, the sh like, they are so good um, for a 2S quad. And the 5100 is the, they weigh the exact same as the 8160. And, um, Oh, that's cool. Uh, 8160, and these are just so good. So these batteries, when you see them, the shipping is not $3, by the way. It says that, but if you order in bulk, you, you actually end up getting, like, I think I paid 2 bucks for shipping for four of them or something like that. Or what did I pay for shipping? But these, I, I almost want to buy a bunch of it, which I did, and I just came. Um, yeah, so I bought four of them for fifteen dollars so i paid less than four dollars each uh 391 with shipping like that was so frustrating um all right here's here's my road rage thing sorry <laughs> i'm chomping let me see make sure my camera is right here all right this is a cell phone this is a note nine which I love this phone. Um, 
this phone made me change from where is it is that my right hand yeah this one yeah so this is a note 9 all right if i see someone using a phone like this i feel like they're a normal sane person but you shouldn't be doing this in a car right i mean like this is not safe in a car blah 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 you're distracted you're talking you're thinking you're looking up and you're oh my god now that's annoying but this why do people talk like this into their phone like why would you talk like this your microphone is down here but that microphone is so sensitive i could put it out to here and still have a conversation i do not understand why someone has to drive like this just and then like they think this is bare yeah no radiation's getting to me i'm fine i'm not putting radiation in my breath are you freaking kidding like what the world man come on come on do you know how strong these are and you wear it on your belt so, I mean, you're just putting, like, radiation right into the groinal region, the crotchal area, and you're going to worry about, like, your brain? Believe me, your brain passed out a long time ago if you're sitting there talking like this. Like, there's nothing else there. So, no. No. And not to mention this thing, Bluetooth? Hello? Oh, my goodness. I hate that. Urgh. Like, urgh. I'm going to see around. That's, that's... So my state actually just passed the law. You can't hold the phone in your hand. And someone said, well, what about whenever I have to do, when I have to navigate and I use my GPS? And we're like, the law is pretty clear. You can't hold it in your hand. Like, that's a pretty clear law. It's pretty simple. I don't get it. Uh my little baby boy yeah i do i do but um since 4.0 is the last one i'm probably going to wait for release and i'll probably end up getting one of the performance editions because i do like um oh man there's a uh, i forgot what it's called yeah anyway i like one of the performance editions which i'll probably end up using that which is still in beta but works really well with the leader and honestly, the last one I flashed made my motors so nice that I, I almost, I gained like 30 seconds of flight time, 30 to 45 seconds, and my motors didn't heat up, and it flew like great. I still have the Nox. Um, that was going to be today's project, actually. So I have... A Knox flight controller and I have a 32-bit ESC and um, let's see let me find it here my um, images I came up with a problem that I did not need to have and it's driving me crazy. So this was going to be my uh, project today. And so this is my ESC and it's 32 bit, 25 amp, you know, X4. So that will fly with tachyon motors, no problem. And I don't know if you can see it, but I have a few problems. One, it's ground. So if you look on the cables, ground, there is no 5 volt or any power out, no VBAT out. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. And when you look at the motors, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the exact opposite, which means my battery cables will come out of the front of the quad. So I have to flip around all these. Now with the, <laughs> this is where it gets really funny. Knox F4. Uh, shoot, where is it? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, so that, that part, okay, I can, I can swap 
wires around, no problem. That's not too difficult. So I have ground one, two, three, four, which means I'll have to take my my five volt out of the harness and move it down and tap it straight into the battery terminal. No big deal. No big deal. Uh, not yet anyway. And then it's ground VBAT 2143. Oh, is that how it works? The receiver. I don't. They might. Uh, I don't know. I've never. I don't think mine's ever. I always have to select it anyway. The receiver is no big deal. Um. Oh, telemetry. It might do that. Yeah. But um. Yeah. So my project today was actually to figure out how the heck I have to wire in and get power for one two one three four out of one two three four and reversed so I can put that in backwards and do a bunch of things. Anyway, my project was like, ooh, I want to get started. And then it was like, ooh, no, I don't. So I have to get motivated for that one. Um, by receiver, do you mean telemetry or? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Because I know I have to select it. I know that. Or are you talking about I bus versus S bus? I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what you need. All right. So anyway, let me know. It's kind of interesting. I don't know what it auto selects, and it might. So don't don't get me wrong. Um, let's go back here. I like this look. Yeah, I I still use Andy's pits on the Tiro for the most part. Um, I've been trying defaults to see if they're any better. And the only thing I've noticed with the Tiro I don't like, um, since it has that SP20 whatever flight controller, it seems drifty sometimes. So I'm trying to tighten that up. But I've been doing that through OSD whenever I try and take it out and test fly and do whatever. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, that's cool. All right. We are looking for a small, dang, that's cheap, that's cheap, that's really cheap. Why is that so cheap? Oh, I think I always use ADC in battery settings. Um. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't mean to keep switching back and forth on everything. Let me let me try this again. Hold up. What's the what? What's the what what? Which filters tab? So remember I'm on ten five and beta flight 4 and i'm on 105 that was released like 20 hours ago and oh oh no 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 yeah you have to update um you have to really update to let me find it yeah there so beta flight configurator 105 was updated 20 hours ago if you don't update it's this one and i believe the one yesterday these two were so different i made a video yesterday and then i was like i'm not going to put this up but um his expo is 14 holy crap <laughs> that's funny um so this is the knox board and so yeah soft serial uh yeah, when you go to PIDs, like, are you talking about this filter? Because this, I, I only noticed this yesterday. As, um, 
yeah, this part with the two gyro and then it's dynamic min cutoff frequency. So that apparently is a new feature. <laughs> I don't know what I'm um, that they finally updated as a uh, GUI instead of CLI command only. Um, so no, your, your filters won't look like that unless you literally updated today or yesterday. Uh, otherwise it looks, um, where is it? There we go. Hold on and show you here. Um, Disconnect. We're back on ten four. Connecting. There we go. Yeah, so PID tuning on ten four. Looks awful. What the freak, man? Uh <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's kind of scary so yeah this is on 10.4 and it's a completely different setup totally um holy cow why say that Oh, <laughs> you were looking way back. Um, okay, I was wondering, I don't know. I do like LDARC. I have to, I have to like them a lot. Uh, I'm not reinstalling. I was just going because Betaflight 10.4's PID tab looks so different than 10.5. Um... And now that I look at it, I'm kind of scared if I did something wrong. So, D-term. Yeah, so they just changed the dynamic. Yeah, they basically disabled your low passes and went to dynamic only. Um, yeah. So, anyway, sorry for bouncing back around and uh, going crazy today. Come on. Oh. Config, yep. Astro, the um, so if you're asking, so on Beta Flight Ten Four, or even two versions earlier of Ten Five, um they updated the PID tabs. So if you're on 10.4 or an older version, yours looks like this. Um, but you probably have this in here. Uh, and that should be... Oh, yeah, I don't want to save it. Never mind. But yours looks like this with two, two and two, and then all your D-term notch and your gyro notch and low pass are done. If you're in... Uh, hey, I understand that. If you're in 10.5, your tab will look like this with a lot more options. Um, yeah, so that's fun. Uh, rate profile 1, scale 35. All right. So yeah, ten five, and you have to be on the latest, the absolute latest. Uh, where is it? You have to be on the absolute latest configurator. So don't forget to update. If you're doing beta configurators, you have to manually update these. And yeah, it's. I think it started with 127 is where the new PID, I think. Because I don't know if I tried 126. But I know some of these have the old PID tab and some have the new ones. 
WCO. I'm trying to retire there, honestly. That's that's my that's my retirement long term plan. So anyway. Um Yeah, I want to get away from here. So, where were we? Back to frames. Alright. Um, by the way, why is this fifteen thirteen dollars? This frame looks awesome. It's a two thirty five though, holy cow. And it is heavy. <laughs> no, it's half a pound. 500 grams? What? 118 grams. Four, upper, bottom. It's a full size. I actually like how this thing looks. Oh boy, if I do another 5 inch, I might do that. I like how this looks. I want a much lighter one, but holy cow. So what were you saying about iFlight? iFlight 4 inch frames. Let's see. believe I can do that. Hold on. Golly, that is $12. Is shipping expensive? Four. Okay. Eh, not horrible. That just looks cool. I like that one. And it is 75 grams. All right. So. Freestyle 220 with motors. Dang. You aren't joking. Think I found it. I, I use the two and a half flash, um, and they they heated my motors a bit, so uh, I've been using the LDARC twenty eight forties. I think twenty eight forty. And I I actually love them. Like right now, this the way it flies. Um, I'm hesitant to do anything. Once I moved the camera to the top and got myself a lot more up tilt, like I'm I don't like changing it anymore other than new beta flights. Like it flies exactly what I want. Um whenever I changed to the twenty five forties, I ended up um skimming the ground a lot more. <laughs> it didn't have as much lift. But it was very responsive, so yeah. All right, we are going back. Dude, it was 12 bucks for basically a Big Mac size. Actually, it wasn't even a Big Mac size. It was a um, like a standard, you know, what used to be a 59 cent McDonald's hamburger. So mad. It had a one and a half millimeter patty and one and a half millimeters of bacon. Ugh, so bad. That is light. Holy cow. What is this? Dang, they even have good motors. Or good looking ones. Dang it. So that and a $40 flight stack. Yeah, about 120 That's not bad. I like it. Glad you showed me this site, but I'm going to go broke. Fans. Where am I going hot? 
Hot sales. Oh, shoot. Sorry, listening. Dang. 73 cents. I paid four dollars. Meh. I want that too. Okay, I never knew XT60s were expensive until I tried buying them, so a dollar is great. I do not believe this company is USA. Based on the prices, mm. See about us. That would be no, definitely not USA. <laughs> uh, nah. I do want to get credits. Cool. That part is really good. Alright, so they have an affiliate link. I will be... No, they're not bad on shipping. It's like 3 or $4. Um... Let's see, what did I want? I want 65 mm props. With goggles and gates. Holy cow. The magic props. Ripped off. <laughs> Dang. 10 pairs, $2. Yeah, I'm going to be buying that. Heck, 10 pairs. Through. Yeah, man. Okay. Man, y'all going to get me so much trouble. This is amazing. Why is this so cheap? Have you had any problems with this site? Because this, I, I thought Banggood was cheap, but this is. Mm. Is that a DIY? Hmm. Ooh, that one's got a bunch of batteries. Why'd my heat come on? It's not cold outside. What the fuck? Hold on one second. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. Unexpected doggy issue. Uh. <laughs> I sent him a new one. See, I have to say, as much as people rag on Banggood, I had, uh, I plugged, uh, it, I didn't plug an F4 in wrong, but it had a 5 volt and a VBAT, and I may have crossed them up, but they literally sent me a new one, like, it came faster than the original order that I paid for. Oh, dang. So is the F3 Pro the good one? This is weird. $72. I want that. I want that. All right. What do we have here? F4 Pro No Receiver. F4 Pro with Fly Sky Receiver. 19000 Yeah, they're stopping at the end of Beta Flight 4. It's getting too big for the memory. Um, kind of expected it, but I don't... I, I've been saying this since like 3.4, 3.3. I still say 3.3 was great, so shoot. Um, yeah, if it stopped at 4, I'm happy with that. Sweet. But yeah, if, if uh, Beta Flight stops at 4, I think you're about a half hour behind on the, <laughs> the chat. But if Beta Flight stops at 4 um, for F3 boards, I think everyone will be pretty happy with that. It's too hard to program and take out options for uh, for the smaller memory. It's, it's just so hard. Dang. So wait a minute, I'm getting... Why would you order that without a receiver? That's my flight controller. That's my ESC and flight controller. What is that? It's my VTX. Okay, battery charger. Not bad. What's this? Turbo EOS camera. Ouch. So I can get a Mobula Seven for seventy five bucks. Wish I had known that a while ago. Yes, I've put it together. Do I get screws? Uh, looks like you do. Wish I hadn't shown me this page. Going back. Yeah, I saw a bunch of kids. Um, I'm all about that cost savings thing, you know. Shipping. Two dollar. Or three dollar. Cannot ship battery. Okay. Oh, the nicer charger. I have chargers for those. So I'm good on that. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. DHL is what we use at work for a lot of things. It's their great company. Shoot. Um, yeah, Y45 for all of that, including a receiver or transmitter. Holy cow. Oh, this one has the F4. Dang it. What do we get here? B3 frame. Two motors. F4. V2. Battery holder. Caddix. That's crazy. Four 300s. One one way. Yeah. I need a bear charger. So this is an F4 board. Holy cow. A welding fee. <laughs> I can solder my own tanks. We're good. Okay, so that's your VTX. Alright. Easy enough. Yeah, sites like this, I normally just order a bunch of stuff and wait and forget I ordered it and then it's like Christmas when I get it. Ooh, got stuff. Yay. Where's my batteries? I was on battery tab. Oh, uh, there we go. Nope, that's not a battery tab. There we are. Let's see what we got here. Battery tab? That is battery tab. Right. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's not a question of will it spouse out or it might. It, it's a question. It, it will spouse out. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I normally just pick them up and pry back. I think you're um, WCO. I think you're about forty minutes behind on the chat window. Just. Uh, I thought about it. Um, I have to buy if I can. Oh, that's a good idea. Actually, that's a great idea. I need the. I need twenty XT thirties versus all the JSTs I had. So, if you know of a good link to a bunch of XT thirty packages, I need like twenty of them. How many is this? Do, do, do. Is that one? That's a pair. Yeah. Oh, see, I don't. I use X or I use JSTs and not the PH two connector. And JSTs are fine if you, um, if you aren't after every bit of performance, but the um. Like I say, I need 20, yeah, I have 17 2S batteries. So, yeah, I also have, um, I modified my charger to allow me to charge up to 20 JST batteries, JST 2S batteries, or J any JST battery, really, but I haven't modified to allow 20 on my parallel board instead of 8. And so I'd have to swap all of those out to, to XT30s as well. And honestly, the performance on the leader is just fine where it is for me. I don't need, I don't really do fast. I do kind of fast, but not, I'm never full throttle. Like it's rare, rare. Um, is this 20 or is this one? I can't find out how many it is. It didn't say. Uh, 
I could do that. Um, or I could actually, I, I probably only need like eight. Yeah, it's a pair. I need like eight or so if I were doing, because I wouldn't put them on my older ones. And I would buy XT30 bats, but again, four dollars. <laughs> I paid three ninety one shipped. You know, uh, let's see, four dollars for PH connectors, and by the way, these I have as well. These are crap, so bad. But see, like these are the ones with JST. Um, here, here's a funny one for you. So these have the pH for four dollars. These are. JST for ten dollars. They they weigh the exact same, by the way. So I don't know if the C rating is correct or not. Um, and then these are seven dollars for the same ones with the different C rating, though they weigh the exact same. I have these. I bought these before, and they're great. Um, when I got these, I was expecting lighter, and it ended up being almost exact. And then these, again, so yeah. It's like three different prices, same battery. I don't get it. WCO, I see that. Uh, let's see, what else we got? What else? What else? What else? I want props. You said props and battery. Oh. Dang. Okay, so if you need a bigger battery, that is great. Holy cow. Um, that's great. Heck, that is 13. Really? Why is this site so much cheaper than Banggood? I didn't think anything would be cheaper than Banggood. Literally. There we go. Now we'll get more. That looks just like the GMBs I got. That looks just like the GMBs I got. Hmm. You back. That sounds like it's what they do. Um, I'm okay with that for things like this. I'm okay with a lot of this. Uh, all right. that oh see everyone goes bigger I want to go smaller <laughs> should flag they have frames I mean, check that out. 
This is probably spec'd almost the exact same as my X220. Just so much cheaper. Twenty amp. Oh, that's horrible. I hate those ESCs. And a PDB and an F3 SP racing. And I have no idea what that oh, was JT. Okay. If I were going to make my niece a quad, it would be this one. Slew. Go into DIY drone kit. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> frame okay that explains it all right thanks Whew. there we go all right that's not bad not bad I like this one uh, hmm. is that eight motors Did they give you eight I really like that frame. And it's 41 grams. Crap. Is that 152 wheelbase? Dang it. All right, what's this? Forty-five, twelve. Wow. So if you need eight freaking motors. Wow. And a crap load of props and a new frame. That is amazing. Eight motors. Of, really? If he's 19,000 kV. Alright, my next question is Do these motors pull more than the URAV? Might be whoop 75. Copy. Paste and go. I'll try and see what size ESC you need. Dang it. <sighs> Fooey. Is it five amps? Cause see, I have a um, I have a UK sixty five, and I was actually wanting to go up to uh, better motors, cause they have oh six oh three. Grasshopper warp fifty. And I was wanting like oh eight oh three, so I can get a little bit better, but I didn't want to kill my ESCs. Grasshopper 150 sounds great. I actually looked into that. Um, I'm trying to find one that still has room for a 2020 stack instead of a 30. So I thought the Grasshopper was 30 only. Um, I like that frame. I don't know why I like that one so much. Dang, I like this one too. And that one. What else we got? 2020. I used to be so scared of breaking pieces. I still am with a 5 inch, but... Shoot. So 
to 110. That's pretty cool. Brushless. Grasshopper 150. One sixty. Yeah, that I looked at it. That's that's my problem. I have twenty twenty millimeter stack, not a thirty. Otherwise, I would have been happy as heck with it. Alas. Shoot. Um, going back. Going back. 200. All right, now that's just mean. What is this? Oh, okay, 28, 150, okay. It's like, why is that so cheap? All right. Hyperlight Tooth Fairy. Do they still sell it? <laughs> Ghost Hyperlight Tooth Fairy. There it is. Thirty five grams, nice. And camera mounts. All right. 19 left. I will save this one. All right. Thanks. I'll check that out. Oh, it's almost three o'clock. Uh, what else did I want? Sixty-five. Hantu. There we go. Shoot, falling asleep. Goes to. So, this is the original. Metal screws. Han 2. Dang, that is pretty much a clone. 
Wow. Hmm. Uh, so my stance on clones is, uh, this would be a basher and this would be my good one. Huh. It's so funny how much of a difference chamfered edges makes. Whew. I could get the sloths because that's not at all a ripoff. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Dang. <laughs> Ever build a floor in it? That's funny. Mode 2 ghost. That has a lot of room. I kind of like it. I'll check that out. I've never seen a Hantu, nor have I heard of it. Ugh. I will say if uh, Kebab saw this, he'd be like, they cut the carbon in the wrong way. It's at an angle. It's going to have a lot of flex. Might be true. What do you do to the floss frame? RC attic floss. Excuse me here. By the way, I get nervous when I type in that bar. So this is the original floss frame. Uh, okay, I still have to say, um, number one, if you're not subscribed to mine, please subscribe to my channel. But two, RC Attic, this dude is phenomenal. Like, he and uh, Quad Mover, I don't know how they fly. I really don't. Like, I think they are connected um, just too much to their quads like they're amazing holy cow um yeah so if you if you haven't rc attic dang that guy's just awesome um what do you do with the floss i don't know what he did oh that's where i wanted to go okay talking to myself here sorry 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 let's see floss right, floss a 6S mode 2 ghost v2 LOS. Holy cow. Wait, was that the floss? I had no idea the 3 inch. 5 inch, 5 inch, 3 inch. How do you see a 3 inch in line of sight? Good grief. I can't turn sound on. Just spin it around. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries. That's easy. Because you can barely see it. Three inch. Holy cow. That's actually why I like three inches. They're just so freaking fast. Oh, 
Holy cow. I can't watch that for long. Five inch. Yeah, I gotta give him credit. He's he's too good. Alright. Ah, oh, shoot. No frame for inch and next Oh, two two years ago. Good grief. There's a bigger brother to the GV. Mihavuk, uh, what would you like? If you go all the way back two hours ago, this this whole chat started off. I was actually setting up my Tiro uh, micro, so I'm looking at three inch generally, and um, five inch i haven't done in forever honestly so i was still looking for a three inch frame and then suddenly we got off on hey here's a cool website let's go look and then next thing i know i'm over here doing this uh <laughs> flying line of sight is definitely torture for me my quad doesn't care but i end up in a lot of trouble in that i am horrible at line of sight but i see you have a ur65 which is where i was before trying to figure out if i can upgrade the motors and swap the frame out to a 65 millimeter prop so yeah how do you like line of sight? I just, like, nothing in it makes sense to me. So I I tried practicing line of sight before FPV, and I destroyed so much Armaton creations. Yeah, I've been on that site searching, but I find too many things. Uh, GB150. And no, I do not like... I, I like trying line of sight, but the most I can do is box flying where it's out, back, left, right, flip, flippity, flip, 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 flippity, flip. Um, that's the extent of my line of sight creation. I can't do the power punch out to the moon then flip around, punch straight down, and then, no, just not, can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, shoot. 1103s went on sale. Uh, see, if I do that, I'm going to have that problem. What's that problem called? Oh, yeah, hole in the ceiling. Yeah, hole in the ceiling. Because it, it's just, it's not going to happen. And if it happens, it's not going to be good. So, yeah. Nah. 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 Ain't happening. Uh, let's see. Got too many tabs open here. Good gracious. Uh, what was I looking for? Not that. I wouldn't care if the bat was like 5-3. I still would end up plowing through my ceiling. Um, I can barely stay in a warehouse size with that thing. Uh, it's just too too fast for me. I know where to go if I need replacement motors though. Good grief. Uh, UK 6.5. Huh. 
I'm I'm with you on the 1106. I would run like the 2840. Um, at three inch props, you end up. Uh, let's see. You end up. Um, I'll show you here because I I ran into this problem. Oh, I take that back. Ninety percent of the three inch props. So you can use these. I've actually never used these but they are pricier. Um, when you hit a three inch prop, you generally end up with a five millimeter hole. Um, with the five millimeter hole, which no 1106 comes with, that I know of anyway. Um, so if you're doing 1106 brushless, uh, yeah, something like these, or see those are once again two inch. It's good to know. Hold on a sec. Yeah, see they're all pens. They're all the pen type with two screws. So you you once you go eleven oh six or eleven oh four five six any of the eleven series and probably the 12s up to 13 you you become very limited um with three inch true three inch props so what i would recommend is like this 2540 that would be my choice um and 6000 at 3s totally fine um What type of motor for the one, oh, the Emax 1106? Yeah, I'm sure it flies great. Um, it's 18,000 per fam. Yeah, Try and do math here, can't. But I'm sure it flies great. It's just you become very limited. And Sunny Sky motors are not going to compete with Emax. Like, it's just not and the extra 6500 probably not um hold on check your channel here hold on uh, oh these are 65 this actually looks awesome um So this is a three inch fly fox. Sixty five hunt yeah. It, the, these mode oh yeah, so you use twenty five forties. I just for some reason like three inch on it, it's it becomes very, very limiting. Um Slovenia is gorgeous. Yeah, so, um, but at any rate, like, on the Emacs, it's probably fine if you, you have to tune it really well, and, like, a three inch is just on the outside, and you become pretty limited, like I say, with your prop choices. Um, on the other hand, you probably could do Emacs. Uh. 
By pinchy, do you mean like really coggy? Because one thing I have found, um, so like my five inch motors, like these are tachyons and they are so coggy, I can barely twist this with the cables. Like they are 1408s and like you can hear them. Like they are, they are insanely crazy. Um, and then the 16 I keep slamming my mic. 1606s are coggy enough, like you can see it, tick, 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 tick. But when I got to 2300s, I haven't found a single coggy motor at all. Um, and like 2306s or anything like that. It's nothing like the 1400 series. Um, those are the tightest I've ever seen in the history of ever. Uh, but it does uh, kind of kill kill your batteries. <laughs> but that's cool. It's all good. That doesn't mean they're great motors, by the way, so don't think that. But like the 11 series, 1100s, um, these are great motors, and I can feel them. Uh, these are the full-speed RC and they're coggy as heck, but they're nice tight. Uh, but yeah, tuning them is just too hard. I think anyway, it's just me. I mean, shoot, I don't mean anything. Um, plus, you, you just get so limited once you're in that size range. Like these, I can tell you would just clackety clack clack. I, I think the Tiro sized their motors just right for someone beginning um, like me so they they are good enough to fly around and get practice without destroying anything and they last forever they don't heat up anything um, I was I was kind of blown away I, I expected them to be less pushy and more drainy on the battery but they they turned into they're actually really good uh, the only thing i don't like about them is that plastic's leaving as far as power yeah like i have no issues with the um tiro's power like zero go back in here what do i need I want propellers um like zero zero issues with power on that. Um, it's not the fastest, but I can switch props out and make them faster. Uh, like, I don't care about that at all. Uh, what am I looking for here? 10 pairs, 1935. Dang. Three blades. Hmm. But yeah, they have way more power than I need. Um, especially for my flying. Like, I don't... I'm not really a speed demon as much as... I just want to be able to go around. I do know. Oh, that's cool. There's too much stuff on here. All right, it is three o'clock. I hate cutting this off, um, especially I had so much fun today, but I've got some stuff to take care of. Uh, that whole life thing gets in the way. And um, anyway, it's three o'clock and I've got to wrap this up. But thank you so much for the new pages to look at. Holy cow. I'll fly sky. Is this everything? A $45, everything included, 1S, Crazy B, 0703, with 40 millimeters. Wow. 
I would love to have a micro 3D setup. Um, I don't think you're going to find that. Um, symmetrical three inch prop. I really don't think you're going to find that. Uh, I've been wrong before. Uh, I would not do these. By the way, I hate these props. I don't know why they sell them. Oh, now that, I, I gotta say, uh, bull nose, yeah. Um, actually, the Tyro, Tyro, uh, hold up. That's a good point. Darn it. Ah, no, 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 no. Up, oh, shoot, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> Thirty seventy six. Holy cow! Um, yeah. So like those props, but I swear these are awful props. Um, they're not exactly symmetrical, but you could easily reverse them. Um, and as far as. Uh, like A vents, these are these would probably be pretty good if you're using those eleven oh six motors. Um, flash thirty two. I actually want this. I have to say, I'm, I want that a lot, Jim Fan. The eleven size motors, I would, I would say these, um, but they're not perfectly symmetrical. They would give you lift, so I don't know. I'm not a good 3D gym fan. 51 Hulkies, if you're in the two inch. Mm, nope. Trying to imagine these upside down, so yeah, no. Hulkies. Hulkies are the only ones I'm seeing. 3052. Two pairs. Um. Oh, shoot. Okay, Tachyon just kind of makes stuff up as they go along. 5400 1408s. That's huge. Uh, so something like these. I just, these are Gen Fan 2036, so nah. Dang it. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to find it unless you go down to a 20. Or 25. Um, I don't know what you would find. Those are good. Yeah, I really don't know what you would find. Yeah, so I just I just don't know. Um, my go-to are actually these. I love these King Kongs or LDARCs, but they use that five millimeter hole. So this is why I normally fly on my three inches. This is what I've got here and I've got another one downstairs. 
Um, but I like it a lot. And then I do the 2840s. Uh, hold on. 2840. These. Which these actually do pretty well upside down, but I, I wouldn't recommend them as a 3D prop. I don't think they're that good for that. I don't know. Um, it's 2840, so almost a 3 inch. Great, great flight characteristics. It's just, uh, um, yeah, they're not horrible. That's these. Could these fly upside down? Let's see, going backwards. They give thrust. That's about the only thing I can say about them. <laughs> uh, they wouldn't be very efficient upside down. Um, but that's these, and they're they're very durable. That's one of the reasons I like them, and they fly well. Those are stock ET. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, the ET-125 is 2 inch, I think. Of course. Yeah, these are 2 inch. Now, these would be good upside down, um, 3D. Yeah. Cool, they upgraded. That's awesome. But yeah, oh, 2840. Huh, you're right. Never mind. These look so much different than mine. I, I don't know. Uh, if these are 28... It says 2840. But it's not my 2840. <laughs> or it doesn't look like them. Uh, it might be. I don't know. See, mine have a bit more of a point to them. Those actually look exactly like what you would want, though. Um, it's unbreakable. Holy cow. Oh, maybe I'm looking at the... Oh, you're right. E... Duh. ET-125 has the 2840s. And then the 115's got the 2345s and then 1935s. There we go. Whew. It's like, that doesn't look like mine. 2845. Um, yeah. 2845. Yeah, yeah, I see. I thought that looked weird. So yeah, you're right. The 2840s are the 125 V2 list. Um, I actually use these batteries, this prop. I pretty much use this this quad without the uh, prop guards. Which I wanted to buy this quad with the... I wanted to buy this quad specifically to fly to us indoors. Kind of glad I didn't, but it has good prop guards. All right. Okay. I am going to have to actually get some work done. So thank you so much for joining. I'll probably do this again. Um, actually, I know I'll do this next Sunday because I'm working from home, and that means I'll be doing something. So, um, yeah, thanks again. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and, uh, leave some comments if you know what you want to see or what you want to see. Um, I've been thinking about doing 3d flying, come to think of it, but I've never attempted it. So we might do it.
Uh, no, I don't. Um, as far as flying indoors, Miha, Miha, I hope I say that correctly, Miha. And um, as far as flying indoors, I normally cut my throttle power so much that um, I only fly with the leader. I don't fly with the 1400 series motors indoor because that would put holes in my wall. But I cut the power about 30%. To 30%, not about 30 but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I have family obligations to get to. And I want to appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging in for two solid hours. And um, I will catch you sometime during the week. And I hope you all have a good one. So anyway, thanks again. Leave comments. So if you want to see something specific, um, check out this XT thing. Check out bang good and all the other stuff and i'll have some more videos out soon but i want to at least run through beta flight and yeah then go some shopping so that's always fun thanks again and y'all take care i'm gonna cut it off here appreciate it have a good one